In today's video, we will visit St. Fintan's Cemetery and look for the grave of Annabella Hayes and take a glimpse into her life. Please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Mother's Union Ireland was founded by Mrs. Annabella Hayes in Rohini, Dublin in 1887. Annabella was born in Dublin in 1847 and married the Reverend Francis Carlyle Hayes in December 1866, who was at the time curate at Sandford Parish Church, Dublin. He was appointed curate of St Andrew's Church, Suffolk Street in 1867 and later he was appointed rector of Rohini Parish Church in 1873 by Sir Arthur Edward Guinness. It was then they both moved to Glebe House, where they would stay for the next 45 years. The couple would have four children, the eldest boy named Ernest, born in 1858, the second, Marie Elizabeth, always known as May, born in May 1874, and Ethel, born in April 1878. A boy named Morris was born in April 1876, but sadly passed away in infancy. The first branch of the Mothers' Union Ireland was set up in 1887 by Annabella Hayes in Rohini in Dublin. She had been inspired by Mary Sumner, who had done likewise in England 11 years before. Mary Sumner married George Sumner, who was rector for the parish of Old Earlsford. Mary was passionate about transforming the home lives of families in the parish by helping the women support one another in raising their children. Mary set up a meeting for the women of the parish and was quite nervous at the first meeting and asked her husband to speak in her place. It was quite unusual for a woman to be a public speaker in those times. However, her husband was very supportive and encouraged her to speak from her heart. The meeting went so well that Mary found the courage to speak at future meetings. She had a great faith and her talks were inspired through that. She was also very down to earth and practical. The following is a quote from Mary. Remember ladies, to be yourselves what you would have your children be. When the women's groups were established, she was asked to speak to the men of the parish. She was apprehensive, but agreed to it. At the meetings, she helped them become more aware of what their wives did for them and to show more respect and love. The meetings grew and had women from all walks of life, rich, poor, old, young. When others heard of her work, they set up groups in their own areas. She founded the Union of Mothers in 1876 with a membership card and a promise to be given up body and soul to Jesus Christ in holy baptism and that your duty is to train your children for his service. From the 1900s on, she and the members of the Union were advocates for key issues that were of importance to families and children. One such issue was the age of marriage for girls to be raised from 12 to 16. Also, for the time when unmarried mothers with children were condemned and cast out, she cared for and protected her niece and her illegitimate son. Today the movement has 4 million members in over 83 countries. After the untimely death of Annabella's second child, Marie, at the age of 33, Canon Hayes and Annabella travelled to Delhi to visit where Marie worked for the previous three years. Annabella would go on to edit and publish the letters Marie had been sending home. Marie's final letter would sadly arrive some weeks after the fateful telegram giving news of her death had been received in Rohini. The Hayes Memorial Cross in Rohini village was erected some years later. After Canon Hayes retired, in 1918, they relocated to 12 Northbrook Road. 
In 1921, Annabella was diagnosed with liver cancer and died on the 7th of February, aged 74. Frances died on the 12th of December in 1921 at the age of 94. Annabella is buried in St. Fintan Cemetery, Sutton. Her headstone stands at the highest point of the cemetery. It is not made of stone, but of wood, teak. Despite it standing for over 100 years, it's not badly weathered. <laughs>